Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm a PhD student here in the Max Planck Institute of Quantum Optics and I work in the Quantum Many Body Systems Division of Professor Emanuel Bloch. And today I want to show you my lab. Um, so we are here in my lab and um, what is the research that we do here? We want to understand better some um, phenomena that happen in materials. Especially we want to understand better uh, materials that are not quite understood yet, for example, um, high tem temperature superconductivity. Um, but now the problem is it's very hard to look inside those materials and to, to explore the physics that's going on there. So what we do instead is we artificially build the same structures as those materials have. And then in our lab system, we, we, we place single atoms into those structures and then we can, we can investigate these and we can observe the same physics as those materials have, but in a much more controlled way and in a much more accessible way for us in the lab. Um, so, yeah, we, we do this here. Um, so our, our experiment is, is basically all these lasers and electronics that are around in the lab. And um, we will have a look at these in a moment. But first of all, let me tell you that this is our um, control area here. Um, we, we monitor everything in the lab. We monitor all the lasers, all the temperatures, um, everything that's happening. And um, we, we know exactly what everything has to look like and we can make sure that everything is working. And then from, from this part here, we actually control the experiment. And what you see here is our atoms. So each blob that you see here on the picture is a single atom. And by analyzing how the atoms arrange in these structures here, we can get an understanding of the physics that's going on in these systems. And um, so we get an, a new um, shot of atoms every 20 seconds. So every 20 seconds you will see there's a new picture of atoms appearing here. And um, when the experiment is running, for example, right now, um, we, we produce these shots and then we analyze them here. So the typical life of a PhD student is to, to look at these pictures and to analyze them and to try to get an insight into the physics. Um, however, when we are not analyzing our data, uh, we usually work on the experiment. And I want to show you a bit what our experiment looks like. So you see we have these three black boxes here, which are our optical tables, which is where our experiment is, is happening. And um, let's look at one of them here. Uh, this is one of our laser tables. And let me show you. Um, so each of these blue boxes that you see here is a laser and um, the lasers that you see here um, have a wavelength of 671 nanometers, which is red light. Um, why are we using red light in our lab? This is because um, 671 nanometers is the first electronic excitations of lithium atoms. And um, we use this to manipulate our atoms, to, to cool them, to slow them down, to trap them. Um, so yeah, this is the, the most important light that we, that we use. And all these tiny little things here are, are mirrors and um, uh, wave plates and just different things that we use to manipulate the laser light. And with um, all these objects, we, we control the light precisely. And then when we have the the light prepared in exactly the way we want it, then we send them into these cables here, because these colorful cables that you see are actually not cables, they are optical fibers. And we can send the light in, and then in exactly the right moment when we need it, we can send the light to the atoms. Um, now an another thing that I want to show you in the lab is another laser. Um, so these lasers here are low power lasers. So the red light that you see is very dim. Um, however, we have a very interesting um, laser on the other end 
of the experiment here, which we use to trap the atoms and to, to arrange them in those special structures that we want. And for that, we need a lot of power. That means we will also need um, protection goggles. But what's nice for you is that you don't need protection goggles because you're looking at a video. So you can actually see all the 14 watts of green light that we have here. So this is our green setup. This is 532 nanometers. And what's special about this setup is that we um, create this ourselves. So we have a source here, which is infrared light. And here we have 40 watts of infrared light coming out. And then we send it into this crystal here. And in this crystal, two photons of infrared light are combined to one photon of green light. And this allows us to produce 14 watts of green light, uh, which you can nicely see here glowing in the camera. And um, this we also send through an optical fiber onto our atoms. And with this power, we can precisely control the position of our atoms and, and keep them there. Yeah, let's close this again, because if we leave our setups open for too long, then the temperature will drift. And then we will already see the temperature will drift. And then we will already see changes on the atoms. Um, yeah, this was a small look into my lab. I, I hope you're interested and um, goodbye. <laughs>